take a look what BLM does when they have a chance to be in charge of a town, a city, a county. It always looks a little something like this. This was the scene at a Los Angeles Nordstrom Saturday, 4 p.m., when a group of more than 30 people rushed in and ransacked that store. Police say the suspects got away with nearly $100,000 worth of merchandise. 2024 GOP presidential candidate Larry Elder joins me now. Larry, it's always good to speak with you, sir. Welcome back. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. All right. So what is your plan to combat the crime crisis that is happening in this country, in particular in places like L.A., San Francisco, New York and Chicago? Well, first, let me apologize for the hoarseness of my voice. I'm told the only time a candidate doesn't lose his voice is if he's not working hard. As you can see, I am working hard. And the reason I am running and the reason I'm asking people to go to my website, LarryElder.com, and contribute at least $1 so I can get to that 40000 uh, to get to that 40000 individual donation to qualify that for that first debate, is because the 10,000-pound elephant in the room that nobody's talking about, even on our side, is the real epidemic in America is not COVID. It's the epidemic of fatherlessness. 70% of the black kids today enter the world without a father in the home married to the mother, up from 25% back in 1965. 25% of white kids now enter the world without a father in the home married to the mother. And the stats are clear. When you are raised without a dad, you're five times more likely to be poor and commit crime, 20 times more likely to end up in jail. Now, unless you're prepared to say black people are just genetically inclined to commit more crime because the majority of these smash and grabs are committed by black people, you have to ask yourself, out of a population of 13 percent, half of the homicide victims in this country are black, almost all killed by other black people. Sixty percent of the homicides, the shooting and the robberies are committed by black people, again, often against other black people. A young black male is age 10 to 43 is 13 times more likely, I'm not making this up, more likely to be murdered than a young white man in the same demo. Mm -hmm. Unless you're prepared to say black people are just gene genetically inclined to commit more crime, you have to ask yourself what the devil is going on. And what the devil is going on is the epidemic of fatherlessness. We are now incentivizing women to marry the government and incentivizing men to abandon their financial and moral responsibility. And virtually nobody is talking about this. That's the genesis of all of this. If I were involved in some smash and grab like this, I would be more afraid about what my father would do to me than I would what the cops would do to me. These kids are afraid of neither because they don't have fathers in the home and the cops are demoralized. They're pulling back. They're not engaging in proactive policing. As a result, there are thousands of what I call uh, excess casualties that have taken place in city after city after city because the cops are not engaged in normal proactive policing and morale is down. And as a result, manpower is down. And when you make it easier for a bad guy to steal, to do bad things, crime goes up. They may be criminals, but they're not stupid. Well, so could not have said that better myself. Now, as you know, people will say, oh, Republicans are racist, but Democrats are not. That is what a smart, a very intelligent liberal slash conservative sounds like. And here is what a very stupid, ignorant leftist or a typical leftist sounds like. Go AOC. And so they go out and they need to feed their child and they don't have money. So you maybe have to, you're, they're put in a position where they feel like they either need to shoplift some bread or go hungry that night. Shoplift some bread. They're just shoplifting some bread. Apparently Gucci, Prada, and Chanel are making bread loafs with little leather handles on them this spring and summer collection for the ladies. We will be back with a whole lot more of The Right Show. Go!